I want you to look up to the heavens from where your help cometh from, from the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Go to him and he will guide you. He will tell you what to do and how to do it. You will recover everything that you've lost if you take him seriously and believe in his words. There is restoration in him. The Bible, speaking in the book of Joel 2 verse 25, says, And I will restore or replace for you the years that the locust has eaten, the hopping locust, the stripping locust, and the crawling locust, my great army which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God, who's dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be put to shame. What you've lost is what the canker worm has eaten, but when you go to God for directions, he's promised he would. You will be better than you used to be. All those who thought that you've lost and you cannot recover from it will begin to see the hard work of God in your life. All you need to do is trust. Those who trust in the Lord their God with all their heart cannot be put to shame. Your case cannot be different. With God you can rest assured that He would put you in the right direction and there would not be any need to doubt His direction because He sees and knows everything. The hands of the Lord are not short that He cannot reach out to you, but are you willing? Most times, the reason why we feel lost and remain at our darkest tunnel is that we've lost all hope. Hope is what keeps you going when everything is lost. If you're still breathing, you can still make it. Your hope is not on your physical strength, but your hope should be in Christ Jesus. Without hope, you cannot have faith and it's out of your faith in God that things begin to work for you. Psalms 146 verse 5 says, Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob, and that God never fails. Your hope to find your way out of that difficult situation is in Christ. He is ever ready to direct you into the part that's the most beneficial to you. That difficult situation that you think is no longer going to work will begin to work. It's possible to the one who believes. If you believe in Christ and go to Him to guide you, then you are on your way to success again. And that success is going to be your portion. Keep hope alive. Have faith in God. All is not lost. There is still something that can be done. Believe in the Lord and you will never be put to shame. It may be still out of your carelessness that you lost everything that you once had. And the more you think about it, you feel stupid and feel like killing yourself. You continuously tell yourself what would have happened if you'd done things a little bit differently. My dear, the fastest way to the grave is regret. It eats down into your soul and steals every form of joy and peace that you have. You may feel like the world's biggest loser right now, and you're doing everything within your power to try and redeem yourself. The truth is the more you try, the more you'll get frustrated. The more you'll keep beating yourself up over and over again. And that, my dear, is not going to change things. At this point, only God can help you. It's time to go to Him to guide you. You've tried your way and the results were not good. Now it's time to give the Lord a chance. He is searching daily on how to reach you. His arms are wide open, ready to receive you. When you're in need, people will turn their back on you because you've lost everything. Your friends and family, who you thought will be there, have all abandoned you. 
It takes only someone who loves the Lord to be able to hold you at your lowest. People are scared of adding your baggage to theirs, so they'll leave you to carry your losses. But the loving God that we have never leaves. He says He will never leave or forsake you. In your bad times and your good times, He is still going to remain, even though we find it hard to be with Him in the good times. Still, He is faithful to remain. When we're satisfied with life, we forget that we need Him, but He still remains near. Still, Jesus speaking says, Seek and you will find, knock and the door would be opened. He is still the way, the truth, and the life. If you want to gain back all you've lost, you only need to seek and the Lord will be ready to show you. Now is not the time to keep trying to find a solution on your own. Now is the time to return to the Father. Your life will get better because He will do it for you. Beloved, your life is not yet over. Everything you feel is lost is not. You are in the process of becoming better and all you need is the proper direction. Your choices in the past might not have been the best, but God is merciful and kind to redirect your life. Don't let the devil tell you all is lost, which is a big fat lie. You are still clay in the hands of the potter. You are still fearfully and wonderfully made. You still have value, and the devil is too late right now to gain victory over your life. You've still got this. Everything is going to be well. All is not lost. Now is the time to recover, and recover you will. We all have something in one area of our life that we feel all is lost, and we blame God because things didn't end well for us the way we expected it to. It's time to stop blaming God. You still can't get it right if you keep blaming Him. It's time to open up your heart and go to the Lord for directions. Whatever you feel is lost is not. You can still beat it and win. You are still a winner with Jesus in your life. Being a winner doesn't mean you win all the time. It only means whenever you fail, you learn another reason not to go the way you went. We can't give up trying because of failure. Jesus never gave up, even when we rejected him and proved unredeemable. So giving up is not an option. God always provides a way in every difficult situation. Where you feel all is lost, that's exactly when he comes out to show you that he is the Lord over all. He opens doors that we never knew were even there, and what looks logically impossible, God always sees and knows it as possible. He provided a way for the Israelites when they were at the Red Sea, when they felt all is lost and they're doomed. That's exactly when God showed himself mighty in their midst. It's still possible in your life if you let him take the lead. When you are at your lowest and feel all is lost, also remember to go to God and he will guide you back to your glory and even better, better than all your thoughts and dreams. All is not lost with God.